his fingers into his ears. Yeah. And he spit and touched his tongue. Lord. Looking up to heaven, yeah. he sighed and said unto him, Epapa Atta, mm -hmm. that is, be open. Yeah. And uh, straightway his Lord. ears were open. And the string of his tongue was loose, mm -hmm. and he spake plain. Yeah. He charged them that uh, they should tell no man. Yeah. But the more he charged, yeah. the more he charged yeah. them, so much the more yeah. a great deal of people published it. Thank you. And were uh, beyond measure yeah, right. astonished, yes. saying, He have done all things Glory. well. Glory. Mm -hmm. He maketh both the deaf to hear yes. and the dumb Lord. to speak. Yeah. But he have done. Amen. All things well. God, He does all things well. There's a lot of that because we're first saying that He can do all things. And whenever God does something, you gotta hear this. You don't have to go to nobody else. Oh, you hear what I say? I've mean, had folk to work on stuff. Yes. You understand? Yes. Fix your car. Uh -huh. yes. And after they fix it, it's just enough for you to get to the mechanic. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Yes. All right, you understand? There are some folk who, I know a man that work on air conditioners. <laughs> if he have to do anything to your air conditioner in the sun, wow. he going to have to come back in the weather. Yeah. And do something illegal. <laughs> it, it might be that he just said look like that. I don't, I don't know. But once you get caught up with it, you, you stop because whatever and he don't ever need no part. You know, all that happened, he got what you need right like that. Yes, sir. You're right about it. But God. Uh -huh. And I think it's a good time. Uh, to talk about God yes, and the power of God. Yes, because we're living in some terrible times. Yes, Not unexpectedly. After all, the Bible said, know this, that perilous times were going to come. Yes, so we understand that they would come, but we also have to encourage you yes. to make you know that it's not that anything has gone wrong, yes, that you are so wrong. The times yes. we're living in are terrible times. Yes. And terrible times such as this, you need a God on your Amen. side. Amen. You need somebody who yes. can do all things yes. and do them well. Yes. You understand? It's not time to be getting second opinions. All I said, I'm going to read
they have this tendency Amen. to say, well, he done did some errand that she done did. Ain't no way a devil that big done got saved. Amen. And you're right, a devil that big cannot save himself. But if God saves them, the power is in God, not in the sinner. We cannot save ourselves. It takes the power of God. He's never diminished. He's never been weak. So we can call God a lot of things. Y'all ain't saying that. But you never have been able to accurately call God weak. Isn't that good? You, you understand that God has power. And God has always had power. And the problem is that we look at stuff from the natural stand yeah. only what we can see and comprehend yeah. and, and process yeah. and not looking at the abilities and the capability that lie in the hand of God uh, yeah. which then causes us to give up uh -huh. and give in yeah. give in to pressure yeah. give in to depression yeah. give in to the things that are happening around us rather than giving it to God and allowing God to fix it. You got to get to know him as one that does everything well. And we talked in Sunday school about finding favor with God and lining up with the will of God. The question is never whether God can do something or not. The question is will God do it? Remember the leper came yes, to Jesus and said, Lord, thou canst, if you will, yeah, yeah. make me clean. Yeah. Yeah. What he was saying is, I believe in my heart yeah. that you have the power. Yeah. And now if you are willing, yeah. I shall make me clean. Yeah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Sometimes we go around praying. Oh my God, I can do everything. Uh, he can. Yeah. That's okay. never been a question. Amen. It's never been an issue whether or not God can do something. Yeah. The issue is whether or not God yeah. will do it. Yeah. And how you get God to do it is by trusting and obeying God. Yeah. Then you can see God move. Yeah. 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 This situation where my dad is yeah. able, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> he was able when they got the situation. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. Right. Uh, right. He ain't never not been able. Right. Yeah. But some get delivered and some don't. Yeah. Yeah. And it's not because they're lucky, it's not because they got a good luck charm, it's not because yeah. you know just by, by happenstance. Yeah. But Seeks relationships Amen. with us. Amen. Seeks out the help of trust. Amen. And trust is not just saying that he can do it. Amen. But trust is believing that he will do it because according to his word, he said I obey him and ask him that he would do it. Amen. Not because he has to do it. Right. God never wanted to be in the business of having to prove himself. In fact, Jesus said on a number of occasions that evil and adulterous generation seek after a sign. You understand? You want God to prove himself to you like God owe you something. It's time for us to prove ourselves to God. God ain't saying that. And if we prove ourselves to God, then God can demonstrate his power. Bible gives that 